All right, guys. Today we are gonna put in a water pump for this big ass evap tower, evaporator tower. The recall, recall tower. Been through the ringer, but it's, the pump's actually leaking. So here's the new pump, and then that's the old pump we're gonna be changing out. So you can tell it's been calcified. Water down there. There's the water leak down there. And then over time, it's just going to seed up. Uh, we're doing like a preventive maintenance before it hits summer. So we'll seed up on this. We'll get this being, well, I'll get a live recording of this being shot right now. Alright, so we're going to start shutting all the racks down. So we shut all the systems down one by one. Then after the system, we shut the compressors down. All right, so now we're going to shut the compressors off. And then we're going to do that to the rest of these racks over here. We're going to shut all these down. And then uh, we'll shut the tower down. Okay, next, after we shut all the compressors down, we are going to shut the main water line down. Oh, let me get over here. So go ahead and shut the main water line down. And then what it is, is that we're stopping the water from flowing into the slope. So we're gonna, then now next we're gonna drain the water. So we're gonna drain the water by that gate valve. All right, so now we gotta make sure we're not overflowing though the um, drain, the floor drain. So we gotta come over here and uh, make sure that there's no water overflowing. And I am working with a helper today. So I'm gonna watch it while he opens it. Okay, now we got water coming out. All right. All right, so now that we're draining the water, now we're going to shut main power down to the, um, that's a nice disconnect that we have there. And uh, so we make sure that the, the uh, we'll put it here, the fan motor don't run and the pumps don't run. So now we just got to wait for the tower to drain and uh, we'll be ready to take that pump out. All right, well, now we're taking off the side of the VAP tower see what our water levels like it's a small tower so it's not gonna take too long to drain there's our pump right there where the green is so you know that's just so I'll protect the pump uh, so it won't let any big debris go in there and then over here you got your your bundle what we call the uh, evaporator bundle, refrigerant lines. And then over here we got the blower wheel in there. And then that, over there, that's where the water fill comes in with your float and everything. That's where it fills it up. All right, so we're gonna let the water drain a little bit more and then we're gonna take off that pump. All right, so the water's all drained out. So we're gonna go ahead and start um, the wiring. We're gonna start doing the wiring. Disconnect all the wiring for that. So he already has it open. He's gonna start taking that wiring apart. Disconnecting all that. Disconnecting the pump and the feet. Uh, and then there's four bolts I'll show you. All right, now we're just gonna take the screws off of the motor and take the, all four of those screws out, pull the pump out. And then there's two more in the back. This particular motor is a smaller motor, so it only has four, four um, bolts that hold this in. And 
a lot of guys like to take off the entire thing, like this entire volume that's connected to it. Um, what I usually do is I take out the pump and I leave everything attached and just break the pump seal. beat up but what they do is they just, they just rebuild these pumps right here clean them all up triple-a and triple-a um, is triple-a motors and uh, they go ahead and clean it up real good paint it up make it look real nice put all new seals springs and um, yeah that was pretty bad and then most likely they'll put a new motor if this was not meeting up to par so you need a you need these specs right here if possible these are the manufacturer specs by recold um, it gives you the size of the motor you know everything about the motor diameter and the impeller diameter so that's what they ask for when you go to rebuild these so just an FYI on that So now he's just cleaning that up, making it all nice and pretty for the new one to get in there. Let me get in there. That's just a little build up, not too bad. It's really not that necessary to take the entire blue out unless it's cracked or it's really badly built up inside. Then um, I would suggest to go, go have it uh, cleaned up and rebuilt. So here we go, put the new motor in. And usually this is a one man job guys, so don't think it's always two, unless that pump is like, like a really big, a bigger one. There's like super big pumps would definitely require two guys. Okay, and that already had its O-ring on there, the, that came by the manufacturer. See how it fits perfect in there? All right, so now we're just putting the bolts back in. All right, so now that we got the four bolts on there, it's sealed, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And then, I'll lift this up. That's still enough, we're gonna close that up. So no water will be running down. All right, tie that up, so now, while this is filling up, he's gonna go and uh, finish up the wiring. And uh, aligning the legs and mounting the motor down. Um, so it will, won't move around. All right, so since we lined everything up, all the bolts lined up with the, the new motor didn't line up with the old holes. So we had a, you know, make it fit with these existing holes here and on the other side 
these fit perfect. But on this side, they did not fit. So we gotta drill new holes in there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. More like he, not we, so. Now you gotta put it on number two. doing the wiring back there to get a better view of that. Then we'll come back when all that's wired up. Just want to show you real quick that the sump's already full on this tab, let me back out. Sump's already full. We even got little bugs flying around. Looks like a swamp. But everything's full now. We're gonna go ahead, as soon as he's done wiring it, we're gonna um, start it up. Watch it rain. All right, he's all wired up. Buttoned it up and everything. Look at that, he even dated that thing. Man, that's, that's awesome right there. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Okay, he's gonna start the pump up and I just want you guys to see how it looks when it rains in here. It's gonna turn the power on first. Main power goes on. Then the pump switch. Pump's running. Make sure it's spinning the right way. We always gotta make sure it spins the right way or else it won't do anything. So let's go check here. We spinning the right way? Nope. We are not spinning the right way. So that means that we have to reverse L1 and L2 because it's a three phase. So we could do that up here at the contactor. So we look for the, yeah, so turn power off, safety first. And then there's a pump contactor right there. So all we need to do is switch L1 and L2 and that should reverse the rotation. So now that the wires are loose, we're gonna switch L1 and L2. Of course, when there's no power, we need to check that. All, tying both of them, gives it a tug on the wire just to make sure that we've got good connection. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and um, start this one back up. Turn the power back on, the main power. All right, now we're gonna turn the switch on. And then here we go. There it comes. It's gonna get wet out here. There it is. Now it's starting to come out. And there you go, guys. That's it. Looks like it's raining. And that's the way it's supposed to look. Now I gotta close the door. So now that we got the pump set, let me bring it back here. 
now that we got the pump set dated and spinning the right direction no leaks in it we confirmed that earlier that there's no leaks and we're gonna go ahead and start the rack up all the racks that's the old pump again we're gonna start up all these old racks and get it up and running okay you always want to start with the compressors first before you open up any circuits the last time we pumped down all the circuits first that pumped down the racks which is right here go ahead and turn those on and these ones he's gonna stage on fairly slowly we haven't we didn't have it down that long so there shouldn't be any migration of the um, suction And then once we get all these back on, then we're gonna go ahead and turn the rest of these compressors on. This is all these. So once the all the compressors are running, the load's gonna pick up on the condenser. It's gonna sense it through the drive. We have this hooked up to a, um, a VFD. I believe it's Danfoss. So once the pressure starts to build up, this wheel right here will start spinning. There it goes, it's starting to spin now. It always spins up slow. That's the whole purpose. All right, you guys, we are all done with this job. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, there'll be some more. I'm training another guy right now so he'll be with me helping me out got to show him what everything's all about and uh i'll catch you on the next service call thanks for watching